Has this ever happened to you? This is Matt sitting alone with his custom switch when suddenly something spectacular happens and he hears a thud from downstairs. Oh no, our intrepid hero is gonna go check it out. I wonder what it could be. Oh no, it's a robber at the front door. Because he forgot his keys, Matt quickly rushes to the kitchen to find some DIY life hacks. First he grabs this broom. Next he's gonna have to try and find some salt to enchant it with magical powers. He quickly grabs his salt and moves forward. He quickly blesses the broom and moves forward. Off Matt goes! Troom Troom, 5 Minute Crafts, we all know these channels, sadly. So realistically, these channels don't need an introduction, he said sarcastically about to introduce these channels. Troom Troom started off as an artsy crafty type thing and then it turned into a life hack, you know, video. What's a life hack? You don't know what a life hack is, he says talking into his pale soulless iPhone. A life hack is essentially a shortcut to life, not that. That is something different. That is a shortcut to death. Basically, it's the entire idea that, you know, you'll just use things around your house to make your life easier, to, like, make little artsy, crafty things, I guess. I don't, I don't really know. Life hacks are weird. This is what a life hack is, unless you're Troom Troom, which is doing the stupidest thing possible to solve the stupidest problem in the world. Because Troom Troom. Like making a hammock out of this material after you just absolutely RKO'd your kid with it. It's prank time! <laughs> Dad's tired! How about breaking past security by, uh, you know, kicking your child into a pool, which is the perfect way to bypass security, I must say, just... Yeet! And how to make, how about you, uh, make your, uh, cleaning, your, uh, Dustin, just a bit more excited by adding a xylophone to it. Life hack, uh, if you're cleaning, uh, get a xylophone. I am of course kidding about this stuff, this isn't actually what Troom Troom does, uh, the pool one was fake. But you couldn't tell which one was fake, could you? Well you'd be right, because that one's real. The fake one is the one about the dusting. And guess what? It still made an appearance in that video! Like, I don't- I don't get this! Wh what what Huh? It's just so- so- why? This pool has an entrance fee! No money! No money! Oh! Man overboard! Sweetie, I'll save you! My family! They're drowning without me! I quit! This one about ice cream! Just use a towel! Do you know what a towel is? It's a cloth for cleaning! Just use a towel! Okay, for a second I want to take a break and just talk about how nowadays Troom Troom is. Like, imagine Troom Troom in any other time period. It, it just doesn't work. Like, where else could you find an entirely useless channel that encourages you to chuck your child into a pool? Like, what? What the hell is that? And, and then it makes a pool guard quit? Who hires a pool guard? And what pool guard quits because a parent threw the child into the pool? W what? Only in this day and age can you make what is essentially a TV show that is offers entirely nothing of substance other than becoming a parody of itself. This show -tru really isn't a parody because a parody is making fun of something real. But life hack channels have become this type of channel. Like this really absurdist, even com comedic type channel. Like, it's not a parody. If really anything, if you think about it, all the people trying out life hacks, like to just see if they're real, that's the real parody there. Like actually making and doing life hacks 
has become a parody of doing stupid things, which is just weird to think about. Like, the actual parody now has become doing something real to help people, and the real thing is just to make bank on YouTube. It's so weird and so... It's so now! Like, where else are you gonna find something that has managed to completely ruin an entire genre. Nope, never mind, fine. Yeah, you kinda see that a lot. Have you ever wanted to know how the heck to survive a zombie showing up to school as a student? No? Well, too bad. Frick you, we're doing this anyway. Let's go. Remember, you can easily forget your zombie. Do not, I repeat, do not leave home without checking on your zombie beforehand. Caroline, I'm looking at you. Don't, don't you forget your zombie, okay? I'm watching you. I'm watching you. When you were getting ready for school, check if you brought your zombie. Remember, just like this. How you doing, buddy? I'm not a real zombie. I'm just really pale. Let me go. Ah, he's doing great. What? Are they like in preschool? What classroom looks like this? What? Huh? <laughs> Did she start fanning herself with an axe? Did... Did this woman... Need a ruler to... Fan herself? Does she know what a ruler is used for? Ben, can you give me a ruler? Sure. Here, take Clementine's ruler. Who brings an axe to school? Oh, it's just a ruler. Our zombie girl has strange taste. Our zombie girl has strange taste. What? what why? Why is this happening? What? What? What is happening? Why is this happening? But she thinks chalk is very tasty. Hmm. What is this? Oh, I see. It's a zombie prank. This is just an eraser. Apparently, Clementine has a good sense of humor. Ah, uh, yes. One of those famous zombie pranks. You know, zombies. Uh, you know, the gym of horror. Zombie girl is bored by human classes. Bored by human classes. Human classes. Wait, are, are zombies not humans? Aren't, aren't zombies just dead humans so wouldn't that make her still a, a human wait what i'm into a wide straight flask and put a plastic brain into it attach a label to the flask so it looks like it came from a lab stick school supplies into the slime yay now we have slimy school supplies i'm i, I i'm so happy we learned how to do this today curtain like clay shape a baseball bat shape a plug on the handle stick broken toothpicks into the bat like nails attach like clay heads to the toothpick nails remember kids Cap your pokey points on your battle bat just in case someone would get hurt by the spikes on your bat that you use for beating people. We wouldn't want anyone to get hurt now, now would we? Miss Smith, pay attention! Zombies are attacking our class! Cut an old sketchbook with gray acrylic paint. Hey, you in the back! Quiet down! Redhead quickly opens your sketchbook so zombie girl doesn't suspect anything. Remember, kids, if you need to quickly tell someone that there's a zombie right over there, spend roughly 20 years and $5,000 to make a sign to tell them instead of just saying, There's a zombie. Open up an old teddy bear. Take the stuffing out of the body so you can put in your things. Don't take stuffing out of the head or the paws. This is both horrifying and something I really want to do. Not to, like, make a backpack. I just, I just think it would be interesting to cut a, you know stuffed animal open am i psychotic but why are we laughing at shroom shroom with that i'm gonna introduce you to my good friend my name is dr glenn that was a stupid bit you knew it was a stupid bit from the beginning we're not doing that again we're changing your character yeah fair enough that was pretty stupid my name is dr kk that <laughs> that sounds like something else my middle name is not Catherine with a k okay completely different so why are we laughing at shroom shroom uh this was a question proposed by jxc really good youtuber by the way go check them out like i don't care about doctor who but did i sent through a five hour video essay about doctor who because of them yes yes i did oh cat cat is broken in hello hello cat hi i'm just recording you need something no? Okay, you're just gonna go under my bed? Alright, that's cool. Nope. This is- this is a recorder. Okay, good luck. So, we're laughing at it, frankly, because it's stupid. Um, take for example this scene from The Tempest. 
This doesn't do anything wrong. There's no comedy in here. It portrays what it wants to portray. And, like, it's not supposed to be funny. But why is it funny? Because it's stupid and ridiculous. The very fact that someone looked at this and just went, Yep! Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that sure looks good to me is stupid and insane. So we laugh at it because it doesn't make any sense. And it's the same thing with Shroom Shroom. It doesn't make any sense. So we find it really funny because it's just random, absurdist, surreal stuff just being thrown at you. And your instinct is to laugh because it's funny, because it shouldn't be happening. It's ridiculous. It's stupid. Why is it stupid? Because it's done so badly. Like, it does what it wants to do. It makes money. It tells you what life hacks. But it's just done in such a weird, stupid way that we just laugh at it. Because it's like, who decided to do this? Who? And even the fact that people are acting in this and talking about this. Just like, they're just kind of there. They're doing their thing. They're like, yep, this sure is normal. It's insane, and it's hilarious. Genuinely, I really like this channel because it's really funny. And it's kind of self-aware at this point. It knows what it's doing. And for all intents and purposes, that's great. Just be ridiculous. It, it's such great fun. I love it. Okay, so as we wrap this up, I just want to say that, like, I, I hold no hate in my heart for Troom Troom. Honestly, I kind of love it. It gives me free content, and it's so stupid, I can just laugh at it. It never fails to be comedic. It's just not trying to be. And I'm not... And I'm here to tell you that Trim Trim isn't a parody, but it's also self-aware. It's been doing this for, like, three years now. And there's just simply no way that the actors and writers don't know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. It's just stupid and they don't care what they're doing. So before you try and be like, oh my gosh, these people think these are real things. No, N no, no one does. Troom Troom does it. It's self-aware of what it's doing, but it makes the money. So Th they're going to keep doing it until it stops making the money, which will be never because it's YouTube. And you know what? L let, let like the greedy corporate... I, I don't freaking know who runs this channel. Let, let them bask in their money. Listen, who's going to have more fun here? Me, who can just laugh at the channel and just be glad that I live in a day and age where something like this can thrive so that I can just laugh at it. Or, you know, the people making bank off of this who are going to go home and be worrying about their bottom line while I'm just out here like, Haha! <laughs> Zombie stupid! Mmm... Probably be the people who are making bank off of the, you know, AK, probably, probably them. They're probably having more fun. Shut up, Walt. She will bite all the paper she has with it.